welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I am doing the second half of my Happiness Comes in Waves accordion book. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the first one, I'll put a link in the description box below. There is also a flip through video. This was created for a video hop, in case you're new here. <laughs> and um, the hop we just do like, it's like a little art show where we show and tell rather than create. And um, so that came first and now the process of it. And that will also be in the description box below. The, vid the YouTube hop was hashtag see me you see. Um, yeah, it was really fun. Now I've got to think of something for the next one. <laughs> I, already, I already said I would do it, so I've got to come up with something. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, right now I am cutting out the fence that I created out of the first flap of this accordion book and um, just using my exacto knife and yeah it's kind of a big book and it's kind of awkward to like spin around to get the right angle so I'm just cutting upwards and hoping it's straight <laughs> so once I cut that out um, I'll be able to um, do the back with some accuracy. So I'm going to cut these and then watercolor the back. I think that's what I do next. I'm not 100%. It's been a, a minute since, <laughs> since I created this. Um, I have got this, yeah, so um, if this looks normal speed, this is like, like doubled and doubled again. So what is that? It's, it's actually pretty fast. So I cut this really slow to make sure. I didn't want to go over any edges and accidentally, you know, cut one of the pickets on the fence. <laughs> or accidentally gouge into it. Which has been known to happen when I'm cutting and trying to cut to a certain point. You know what I mean? I just end up getting just slightly off. I don't think I did on this one, but... Like I said, it's been a minute. I can't remember. But yeah, I just used watercolor to create the fence. I have some Schminka student grade watercolors. And that's what I did it with. Let's see, what else can I tell you? <laughs> As of this voiceover, it is August 25th, and we've been getting some residual rain from um, Hurricane, then Tropical Storm Hillary. I hope if any of you were in the path of that storm that you're safe and it wasn't too bad for you. Looked like a lot of people got a lot of flooding. It looked kind of scary. I also should mention the fire in Maui. So sad. Um, it's been a long time since I've been there, but that was just, that was tragic. It was just so tragic. Uh, every time I hear it on the news, I start crying. <laughs> I mean, I'm a baby anyway, but... Uh, just horrible um, my work though they do um, they did a donation to the I think it they did it to the Red Cross for for the um, the fire relief and then they gave us a link to a safe legit donation place that we could donate to which was really nice my company um, has employees all over the country and in a couple of other countries as well. And I'm pretty
pretty sure we had some employees. I don't think we have an office in Hawaii, but I'm pretty sure we had some employees. I know we have clients in Hawaii. Um, I remember when I worked closer with the clients. Now I just work with other other paychecks employees, but um, when I worked with clients, I know we had a few a few in Hawaii. All right, so I decided not to put the nails on the back side. Since the pickets were nailed to the front, I didn't think they'd go all the way through. So just keeping it kind of simple. Wanted to create a little bit more shading. The watercolor lightens as it dries, so um, you get something you think you have it just right, and then it, it lightens up on you, and you're like, oh, I need to add more color. And this isn't my Schminka. This is, um, I think those might be Mission Gold watercolors. They were, they, the palette was dusty. It needed using, so I think that's why I pulled it out. <laughs> Give it a little more use, right? I have a few palettes. I got a little, um, carried away. They're so much fun. And here I'm just taking a fabric style pit artist pen in gray and just getting rid of the white edges. I do that on the front and back, but because of how much I do, um, it would be super, super long. So I have, obviously I sped it up, but I've also edited for um, time. And sometimes my memory card ran out and I didn't notice, so... It's edited, edited for that, too. All right, so we are covering the um, packaging. It was a towel. And see where it says, happiness comes in waves. Um, that's what inspired this piece. And I'm going to use it as kind of a closure, strap, belly band, something um, for my accordion. So I did decide to put magnets on there and when I tested it it needed two so it's getting two magnets and I don't have just a flat piece of metal to put on the other side so it's getting magnets on both sides so technically four magnets um, to hold it closed and it, it's kind of bulky, you know? Magnets are bulky. <laughs> um, I do use thinner paper for the magnet side and just glue it with a glue stick. And then once that's dry, I check all the edges and I put a little um, glitter glue along the edges. And this is one of the spots where it skipped. I wrapped that paper around, but I wanted the black edge, so I'm just going, and I'm sorry that's blurry, um, I'm just going around and putting the black back on, so it has like the black around the edges, and yeah, I had to wait, wait for that. I used um, glitter glue to glue those magnets down, but it had to be pretty dry um, to... Uh, before I could do any do the next step because it just slid away too easy and just doing the same thing to this side gonna glue it down and I, yeah so now I want to do something on that inside flap and I have this glass beach glass. I'm going to call it beach glass rather than sea glass. So they are mostly big pieces. Some pieces are not even frosted yet. <laughs> it was sea glass in process. So I have like these super magnets 
and I'm using one underneath the table and one on top to hold it down so that it doesn't arch. Good idea, right? <laughs> I just happen to have these because my brother works in a lab and brought them home to me. <laughs> I don't think they were both supposed to be mine, but I ended up with both of them. So it works great to hold things flat or in place. Um, they did accidentally get connected together at one point, so it did. It took me like, I swear, it was like a half an hour to get them separated. They are super strong, and when they're together, you're pretty much together. But I did get them apart, finally. Oh, and when they snapped together, they caught my skin. Ooh, it was painful. But if you let them hit hard together, they will actually shatter chip and shatter. There's a little chip on that magnet. And not that you not that you're even interested in the magnet, but you know. <laughs> Something to talk about during this long video. No. So I'm using again I'm using glitter glue to glue the the glass down. And I figured the ones that weren't frosted, I could just put a little matte medium over them, and then they'd look a little bit frosted. So that was the first idea. So I'm just taking my finger and putting a little bit of the matte medium over it. And then, I don't think that really worked anyway. But then, I'm like, there's all these gaps in it. So... I decide to fill in the gaps with this glass bead gel. I don't think I was thinking about the fact that glass bead gel is a gloss gel because you want to see the shiny glass beads. I should have just stuck some glue in there and dumped, found some sand or dirt or something. I don't know. But anyways, I put the glass beads in there. I try wiping the surface of the glass on each of them. But it doesn't matter. You'll see, dry, they all lose their frost that they got from the ocean. See? Look at that. It's like so disappointing. So I have this medium that somebody gave me. They didn't use it. And it, it was um, a fine pumice. I thought it would make sand for a beach. But you can't tell that it's sand. And it dries kind of clearish. It just doesn't look good. <laughs> I think you, you'll see because I'm going to paint over it. Um, I'm going to paint over a lot of this. <laughs> In the meantime, while it's wet, I am going to cover up the rest of the advertising with some gel prints. And I just go ahead and use my YooHoo glue stick and glue this down. And it holds pretty good. You just have to be generous with that glue stick. And it will work. I want to do the back too, but I can't do it while um, while that other side is wet. So I'm just getting it prepared. And that's just another gel print. And the the stamping on there is a a wooden block print, I think they're called. Um, pretty fun. Alright, so we're setting that aside to let it dry. Now we've got to embellish our pages, right? So I have this. This is um, Broken Aqueous by PM Artist Studio. Um, they are the ones that hosted the um, video hop, by the way. Um, and they have 
a YouTube channel and they sell stencils and stamps and um, a Facebook page. So it's PM Artist Studio. Um, I'll link them down below. And yeah, this is one of their stencils. This one is called Broken Aqueous. They have an aqueous stencil that I think all the circles have holes in the aqueous stencil. This one um, was inspired by a cutting what their when their cut cutting machine didn't cut it correctly and people liked it and I kind of like it <laughs> I was hoping to see more of it I probably should have made it darker or lighter it's too much the same color as the background but we're going for it and now I'm going to add some jellyfish so I wanted to put something down so we could see them so I thought I'd put a little orange and yellow just around the edges and into those tentacles? What are those? What are, the, what, what are the things jellyfish have hanging off of them? Tentacles? I feel like that's a good word for them. I'm just going to put three on here. I'm just rubbing out the middle because it'll get some when I um, put the main so this part would be the stencil, the outline, and then the actual jellyfish would be masks. And I sometimes use the word interchangeably. I apologize if it gets confusing. So I'm trying to line up the tentacles so that I can get everything in the right place. And I'm putting the blue back down to cover up so that you can see the individual tentacles. And it's still kind of hard to see. But that was the idea. Now I don't know what that thing in the center is called that hangs down. But once I get that part in, um, they'll look more like jellyfish. <laughs> I was looking up the um, anatomy of a jellyfish. So those things that I would call tentacles are called tentacles or lappets. And the other is called oral arms. So is that like mouth arms? Oral arms. And then, of course, the, the top is called the hood or the bell. Inside there is the stomach pouch. <laughs> Not that you needed to know all that information. <laughs> There's more, but you can't really see them on these tentacles, on these jellyfish. So now I'm adding the oral arms. Because <laughs> that's what grabs the food and brings it to the mouth. But I felt like it needed definition so that... Um, I thought it would just help it look more like jellyfish. Probably could have brought some tentacles over the top. But I still have the book. I could still add to it. You know, um, artwork is never finished until it's not in my house anymore, right? If it's still here, it's still fair game. Alright, so this is a fish that I collaged out of gel prints, and I I did it a while ago and um, just copied it on the copier. It, it got kind of dull um, coloring when I copied it on the co copier, and I had this leftover paint, so I figured I might as well use it and help brighten this fish up a little bit. And that's why that was painted before it's glued down because it was there. <laughs> All right, 
I did wait, let it dry, so that I don't smear the paint when I um, collage this on. But we're going to have this fish take up this whole section and have his tail going off onto the next page. I always worry about having pieces go around a fold and um, full transparency, it does crack. I ended up um, adding, after it dried, I, I left it flat, completely flat to dry, and then I eased it closed as carefully as I could. Um, it still cracked a little bit, and I added um, glitter glue to hold any bits down that kind of cracked. So, yeah, you can't tell now, so that's good. And that's just a white gel pen. I figured I would add some highlights. This is another, these, these two elements are another art journal page that I created. And I just photocopied it and cut out the diver from the page and the little green fish from the page. Um, so that I could have a quick element, like, I didn't have a lot of time to create this um, particular project, so um, yeah, I needed some quick elements to add, and so I went looking through all my art journals for anything water related, <laughs> and this one and that fish are what I found. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Alright, so I've got some more PM Artist Studio stencils. And this is a stencil and mask set, and it's seaweed. And so on this particular page, I'm adding some seaweed. And then I have another stencil. And I believe it's turtles. I was trying to think of who. I really need to be more prepared. So I can tell you who the designers are, because they have, PM Artist Studios has designers that um, create some of their stencils. Not all of them, but um, some. Let's see. Where are my turtles? Dragonflies, circles. I think Broken Aquas is one of their own designs. Let's see. Oh, the seaweed is their design. You can hear them stick into the paper. Um, it's done out of uh, Upo papers, and that's like a plastic. So here's my turtles. I'm looking for my turtles in my stack of stencils. I can't see it. I put all my PM Artist Studio stencils in in one pouch, but I'm going to have to divide them by animals and non-animals. <laughs> Because there's getting to be too many. Uh, the jellyfish. Those don't have a creator. So those are PM artist. Patricia and Mariah design, I guess. And more possibly her husband. Oh, here's my sea turtles. Oh, the sea turtles are from, are created by... Fran on the edge. They're really cute turtles. <laughs> My stenciling does not do them justice. I'm going to have to do something on the gel plate with them because they're just cute. I think in the end, you don't see it, I do go around them with a black pen. 
just because I felt like they needed to stand out more. And my, like I said, my, my stenciling wasn't doing them justice. If you are interested in that flip through where I talk about things, um, that gets you a really good look at all the pages, I think. I will have some pictures at the end of this. Yeah, I did outline them in black. I had to go look at my book. It's sitting right here. So yeah, I added the brown to the top to create the pattern and then of course masked out the area with the green, which you've already seen. It was kind of hard with my, my sponge to not go over the edge. <laughs> and here I'm just taking the gray pit artist pen. Um, I believe they are alcohol based and if you if you do them over um, something that's paint, um, you can blend them with your fingers. And this is this is where the uh, memory uh, ran out on my memory card on my camera. Sorry about that. Um, this is another uh, art journal character. <laughs> the, the crazy looking mermaid. I got her out of one of my art journals. And this stencil is also a PM Artist Studio stencil, of course. The little, I made them look like sand dollars. Um, so this is finally dry. The closure is finally dry and I'm going to do the back of it. The circles, I'm looking for the circles. Medallion coins is what they're called and they're by Judy P. But see how, like, my sea glass and beach just looks really sad. So I'm, I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it all. Trying to keep the black edge though. I don't want to make a mess. So I'm just adding. It's kind of a peachy color. And then I'll add a little bit of. A touch of brown. And they're just. They're just craft paints. I didn't even look at the label. I just threw it on there. I'm like okay now it finally looks. Kind of like a beach I guess. <laughs> And I have this um, paint from Arteza. Okay, first I'm doing matte medium. I'm thinking that's going to frost it up. Even after it's dry, it doesn't get frosty. So this is um, an iridescent blue paint by Arteza. And I've never used it before. It really went blue. I don't know. I think it improves it. Um, I know you didn't get a very good shot at that. <laughs> Everything's moving so fast, isn't it? It's like um, I do have this way sped up, and I'm sorry, but most people aren't willing to listen to me for two hours talking, and um, I, I'd run out of things to say. I run out of things to say at 20 minutes. <laughs> So again, I'm just taking random bits of gel printed painty papers, collaging them. This is the beach. I'm doing some plants. The, the little round things could be bushes or boulders. I don't know. Whatever suits your fancy. <laughs> but I'm just tearing long strips to make it look like grasses. Now I have some uh, foam stamps by PM Artist Studio as well, and they it's a set, and I don't know that it came with a paper. Um, they're kind of a seashells, sea like nautical nautilus shells, um, the spirally looking ones, and some pebbles. So I figured. I would put some shells on the beach and I just go along and do like three pages 
Um, there you go. <laughs> Quick view. <laughs> You'll get another view of it eventually. Alright, so now I'm going to add some pebbles to the beach. And some pebbles. Try not to dip my page in the paint. I know it looks like it's sitting right on there, but I'm holding it up. I didn't get any on there. <laughs> I'm just running the pebbles along the bottom. Here, we'll put some down here with the turtles, too. They could use some pebbles on there. Alright, so here's the pictures, a couple of pictures. I hope you liked this video. This was a fun project. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you want to see the rest of it, Check the links in the description box below. Thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.